You know, Elon Musk got about a hundred million dollars as an exit from PayPal. Now that's a lot of money and most of us would probably buy an island and travel the world and do what not. But Elon risked all of that money into his new startup, SpaceX. Now, SpaceX was ambitious to say the least. Even today we think, yeah, rocket con banata hai, wo bhi individual. And as crazy as it sounds, it was worse when he put it into practice. I think the first three rockets failed and the story goes, if the fourth rocket also bust and did not take off, he would have lost his entire fortune. So he literally risked all the money on this rocket company. But the fourth launch actually did pretty well and his money was saved and today SpaceX is doing pretty well where NASA is actually a customer. But anyway, this is the profile of a super high risk person. But, but you know who hates Elon? Sharma ji. Sharma ji is the arm admi who doesn't want to take too much of risk. And it makes sense. Um, 100 million bar bar thodi aayega. So he would not do that. Instead, he'd just take all the money and put it in say a fixed deposit in a bank and say, chalo, at least yahan pe biaz se hum apna kharcha chala lenge. Now, why I'm telling you this story is very simple. Who are you? Are you super risky like Elon? Or are you someone who does not like risk at all, like Sharma ji? I'm guessing most of you are at the center. Comment right now in this video. Tell me, what is your risk profile? Are you an Elon? Are you Sharma ji? Are you right in the center? So I'd love to know where your risk profile is. And once you know what this is, I will give you a simple way where you can use this information to find out whether your portfolio is like an Elon portfolio or like a Shamaji portfolio or right in the center. And we're going to use two things, the beta and alpha. These are quantitative measures to find out how risky your portfolio is right now. So let's begin. So very simply put, um, alpha, basically looks at a reward, okay? And beta, not beta, beta, looks at risk. So let's start with beta. So this is what beta looks like over here. So you can see TCS and HUL, you can see a beta of 0 0.6 um, and an investment amount, etc. Don't worry about that. Focus on the number 0 0.6. And for HUL, focus on the number 0 0.26. Here's what it simply means. With a beta of say 0 0.5, let's say a stock has a beta of 0 0.5 and you're measuring risk. This basically means if Nifty falls 1%, your stock will fall 0.5%. I hope that's clear, right? So this means this. This is Nifty and this is your stock. Okay, I hope it's not too crowded, but basically 0.5 over here is relative to Nifty, which means if Nifty falls 1%, your stock will fall 0.5%. Let's suppose Nifty has fallen 2%. What will your stock be? What's 0.5 of 2? 1%. So that's it. That's what beta is. It measures the volatility uh, of your stock versus Nifty. And we can find this out with a simple formula. Check this video out. Literally, there is a Sharma ji in Learn App, who has taught about beta. So check that video out. Pura uska formula, everything is discussed over there. Uh, so give me a chair to Sharma ji in the comments below if you think he did a good job. That's what beta is. Now let's talk about alpha. So ye Elon bhaiya ko thoda rocket pe bitha ke side kar dete. And over here, let's talk about alpha. Alpha is very simple. I'll draw it first because it's easy. Let's suppose Nifty has gone up, okay? This is Nifty, okay? And uh, then you have your stock. So let's say uh, Nifty ka return, for example, was 10%. Example. And then we have your stock. So your stock was un maybe started underperforming, but then did well and it's doing well. You see this? The difference between Nifty and your stock and your stock over here is Manlo, 12%. Who can tell me what's the alpha? It's just subtract these two, yeah? that's all it is. So how much has it done compared to Nifty? And it's a positive number. So seven alpha means you've done seven percentage points more than Nifty. That's all it is. Um, and it's obviously measuring reward. So what's simple? Let's see what it is. Let's suppose there's an alpha of 10. 
ये पॉजिटिव नंबर्स हैं पॉजिटिव नंबर्स लेते हैं एंड से निफ्टी एंड देन यू हैव योर स्टॉक ठीक है तो लेट से निफ्टी शुड आई ड्रॉ डाउन एरो के ड्रॉ एन अप एरो बिकॉज वी टॉकिंग अबाउट द मार्केट गोइंग अप ओके लेट सपोज निफ्टी इज गिवेन अ लेट से फिफ्टीन परसेंट रिटर्न एंड द एल्फा इज टेन वॉट इज वॉट इल योर स्टॉक बी वेरी सिंपल फिफ्टीन प्लस टेन ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट दैट्स वॉट योर स्टॉक इज डन द एल्फा इज टेन एल्फा दोनों का माइनस कर दो वो आ जाएगा लेट्स डू इन अदर एग्जाम्पल लेट सपोज निफ्टी इज डन ओनली से ट्वेंटी परसेंट एंड दिस टाइम लेट्स चेंज द एल्फा to um let's change it to 5 this means the stock has done how much 25 same thing same returns different alpha because nifty changed benchmark that's all it is so now this is a very simple way of calculating alpha aapko samajhne ke liye actually this is what the real formula is so it's a lot more complicated but i over simplified it so it's easy for you to understand and we could make a video explaining that uh, but yeah as long as you understood the concept of alpha all good alpha is giving you uh, the reward relative to nifty also called returns beta is measuring risk now the question is itna humne gyan kar diya we have all these numbers here why the hell am i telling you all of this see the beauty is once you uh, put risk and reward into a number 0.5 10 you can decide mere ko kya chahiye to so simply put over here now this is a quiz for you okay and you have to perform this quiz with me So here is the quiz, and I have some interesting printout. Let me think how I should do this. Okay, let's do it like this. So this is your grid. Okay, this is basically Elon Bhai over here. This is Sharma Ji Uncle over here. So high return, high risk is uh, Twitter. Sorry, <laughs> Elon. And risk uh, over here, uh, Sharma Uncle is low return, low risk. Now the question is, what do you want to be? Um, and right in the middle is high return, low risk. Some, somewhere, somewhere here, right? तो नाउ पॉज द वीडियो कमेंट्स में लिखो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ पर्सन आर यू टेल मी द पर्सनालिटी आर यू इलॉन आर यू शर्मा जी आर यू इन द मिडल एंड देन टेल मी विच ओवर दीज अपील्स टू यू द मोस्ट लो रिटर्न हाई रिस्क आई थिंक दैट डजन मेक सेंस तो टेल मी व्हाट काइंड ऑफ पर्सन यू आर पॉज इट पुट इट राइट नाउ दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर वॉट आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू सो इफ यू डोंट कमेंट यू विल नॉट बेनिफिट फ्रॉम दिस वीडियो सो द आंसर इज हाई रिटर्न लो रिस्क एंड वट डज दैट बेसिकली मीन आई पुट दिस गाइज ऑन द साइड जस्ट turn it to this okay same thing just fancier words high return high risk means high alpha high beta um sharma ji is low alpha low beta which means low return low risk maybe you want to be in the center that's high return low risk which is high alpha low beta uh to sorry apne edit ko comment karke zara ye fancier words use karo because you know it will sound like you are accustomed to the words of finance um so what are the next steps very simple one if you want us to make a video on alpha we can make a detailed video let me know if you want to um calculate this straight away simply kya karo uh take a list of all the stocks in your portfolio um go to google find the alpha and beta for them for the last one year calculate the average of the total portfolio to pehle individual ka alpha beta karoge then you'll sum it based on the weightage थोड़ा कॉम्प्लिकेटेड हो सकता है बट दे विल बी सम वेटेज ऑफ ईच स्टॉक इन योर पोर्टफोलियो यू विल गेट अ सम ऑफ द टोटल बीटा एंड यू विल नो वेर यू आर ऑन द रिस्क एंड रिवॉर्ड पोर्टफोलियो सो या एज लॉन्ग एज यू एज अव अ डाइवर्सिफाइड पोर्टफोलियो एंड यूर क्लियर ऑन योर रिस्क रिवॉर्ड लाइफ कैन बी इजी एंड द इंटायर पॉइंट गाइज ऑफ इन्वेस्टिंग इज सो दैट यू आर पीसफुल वेन यू स्टार्ट फीलिंग you're getting very anxious about your trades or investment reduce exposure um the opposite shouldn't happen right thoda philosophical cheez hai but you don't want to get into the trap where this is stressing you out the point is not to be stressed out there are better things in the world than these numbers and charts it's traveling it's your family it's going out enjoying finding a passion i think when we become adults we become stupid and we stop following our passion etc maybe being financially free should de stress you and allow you to give you the time for yourself and your family to find what you really want to do in life so yeah if you are a low stress person let me know and i hope this was fun i hope this was useful subscribe like say something nice and see you in the next video goodbye